that. I think that's bye-bye to the bronze. Presumably she will go for broke now. I think she's only watching her throughout the event. I think she's only capable of putting a half twist on, and that means she's only going to lift her start value by a tenth to 9.6. I would suspect this will have a half twist on the end. Yes, Cuervo, actually. You can only do your best. Absolutely, you can only produce what's in your bag. Nobody can ask for more than that. And so long as you satisfy yourself that uh, you perform well, then I guess Tasha Schweiker will go home pleased enough, even if she doesn't get a medal here. She'll be very, very happy with her ranking. And it's, it's all about consistency and... Uh, very all of the gymnasts who arrive in the top three generally do so because they've gone clean now we can see that uh, Radukin looks as though she is safe in the middle position we've got uh, Zig and Shiva to cater for yet but Radukin has made mistakes and the score 9.231, no, not enough to uh, shake things up. Uh, Radican will stay above her and uh, Hippolito too. So uh, Schweiker just outside the medals. And here is the girl, Zigan Shiva, who just could sneak the gold. It be something extraordinary once again. And she's on the uneven bars. Been pretty tough to score on any of these uh, pieces of apparatus. And the uneven bars, no exception. I. I personally don't think she's got a chance of uh, getting into gold because I think she'd have to get something like 9.5, 9.6 on A bars. And although she was Russian champion on that piece, we read in her biography the reason she was that Korkina fell off. <laughs> so I don't think she's ever yet beaten her, but she's a great bar worker. Interestingly, she's, about that. she's not in the uh, final on this apparatus this weekend, and neither is she... Uh in the final of any other piece of apparatus. But she did mess up in the qualifiers, because I think this bar work is good enough for, to put her in the finals, but I remember her messing up in the qualifying round. Stealing Corkina's move. But she's an excellently strong bar work. You can see how narrow her arms are and how straight her arms are. She's got such brilliant technique that she can build upon. And that's where she went wrong in the qualifying round, as well as in the mid middle of the routine. But that was a great routine, and I'm sure that will put her in the medals. And it could possibly put her above Radukan. Radukan. We'll just have to wait for the score. And Viktor Gavrichenko, her personal coach, he'll be... He's nurtured her from being a tiny girl. So, see, that was a... A bit of a crisis point there. She only just managed from the hop to make that Healy. But brilliant tension in support phase in the turns. There, the Ginger. I tell you what, she doesn't beat Corkina, and I don't think we reckon she's going to after this. Uh, she's not going to be that disappointed. She's just 15, this girl. It's extraordinary. I think she's got a tremendous future. Absolutely tremendous. Won the national championships in Russia this year. And the Russian champion, as we were saying, on the uneven bars. But uh, a bit of a story behind that. So there we are. That's the score that she gets, her final one. And let's see what it all makes. It's not enough to take it from Korkina. She is the champion, the all-around champion the world champion here and the young pretender has to make do with the silver medal this time but she'll be back and uh, that means that Radican will take the bronze there we are there's confirmation for you the Brazilian brilliant performance by her in fourth place and Tasha Schweikert and not the greatest vaulter down into fifth position but Svetlana Korkina does it again and that look of bliss on her face it was poetic but she was just rooting for uh, Natalia and of course she herself had taken the title but uh, this, the team spirit of Corkina just so brilliant and congratulations to Holly Murdoch of Great Britain
coming up in 14th place. Very good performance by her. Absolutely. Brilliant performance for the Brits and the Dutch girls have done well too. And well done Sarah Morrow from Spain for coming in in 8th position. So there we are, the new champion of the world in the all-round, Svetlana Korkina of Russia. Well, she's put in so much work and so